Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The lethality and range of conventional guns both including artillery, naval guns and tank guns have almost reached their limits. The projectile range and acceleration in a conventional gun barrel depends on the propellant burning in the gun chamber. ATAGS for example has a chamber capacity of 25 liters and Dhanush has 23 liters. A gun needs large chamber volume to accommodate a higher amount of propellant for increased range. But there's a limit to how much propellant can be filled in the chamber of a gun. Further, the conventional gun needs to maintain safety standards for manufacturing, transportation, handling and storage. Now, this is where the electromagnetic rail gun could be a game-changing weapon for the future. The EM technology can accelerate projectile to muzzle velocity beyond 2000 meter per second which conventional chemical propellant guns cannot achieve. It can revolutionize naval strike operations by delivering hyper-velocity projectiles to a pinpoint accuracy and to extended ranges. So the principle of railgun is simple. There are two parallel conductors which are called rails as the stationary part and a moving contact called armature. Now when a large current is passed through one rail, the armature conducts the current to the second rail. The electromagnetic field created by the rails causes the projectile to move forward direction along the rail barrel due to Lorentz force. Now for the guns to achieve such high velocity, the current required to be injected in the gun is in mega amperes. Designing and developing systems and technologies for handling such high power is a daunting task in terms of rating of the components, isolation, operational built-in safeties. However, with the development of technologies, especially in the semiconductor field and availability of high energy density capacitors, the design and development of such gun system based on EM propulsion is made feasible. So the initial research work related to EM gun at the laboratory of DRDO was taken during 1983 to 1991, where a 5 kilovolt 250 kilojoule capacitor bank to power just 12 mm railgun was developed and it was established. So this POC or proof of concept was successful. Based on that, again a 10 megajoule railgun powered by capacitor bank has been successfully test fired and various bore sizes and projectile masses were tested. Using programmable pulsed power technology, a railgun based on 10 megajoule capacitor bank has been successfully designed, developed and installed at ARD Pune. The hypervelocity propulsion of greater than 2000 millisecond has also been achieved by using this facility. Using a 10 megajoule EM railgun, a series of dynamic firing trials from a fixed firing stand was conducted for experimental evaluation and system performance. These experiments by DRDO and trials have helped to characterize EM railgun for different bore sizes up from 12 mm to 45 mm projectiles of 80 gram, 120 gram, 250 gram and 500 grams. Based on the know-how gained and after the successful completion of technology demonstrator project, the configuration and design methodology can be extended to achieve higher speed, range and lethality in futuristic railgun. So the next level plan is weaponization of technology by developing a 100 megajoule railgun. Steps in this direction have already been taken by establishing Center for Electromagnetic Launch Technology at ARD. The technology advances gained in 10 megajoule EM railgun is being used to design, develop and install an EM railgun to launch a 18 kilogram projectile at hyper velocity exceeding 2000 meter per second powered by a 10 megajoule capacitor bank from a fixed firing stand. This railgun is suitable for large caliber up to 155 mm and medium range which varies from 100 km to 400 km and it will be developed and test fired and thus breaching the gap between conventional guns and missiles. To launch projectiles at such large distances, the electrical energy needed as input is very large. As I have told before, it is going to be around 100 mega joule. 
so the em rail gun weapon system will give an edge to armed forces in the battlefield and prove as a game changer the development will be carried out at a dedicated infrastructure facility which is under development this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector